Next, what do you um what do you do for fun? One of the things I do for fun is I attend community events. I consider that fun. I attend community community events, especially the Igbo community events, like meetings and uh, parties and you know whatever that we do collectively. So that's one major thing. I consider those fun. I consider it fun because um, I'm doing something and then I'm also helping the community. So I'm not really you know wasting the time. Okay, so now next, next is what, what is this something that you are talented at other than teaching? If it's in terms of sports, I would say soccer. If it is in terms of, um, I play soccer, real good at it. I also play table tennis, real, real good at it. I also play, um, what, what other game? I, there's a board game that I play, real, real good at it. It's called draft. It's like chess, but it's not chess. I do not play any, apart from drum, apart from drum, you know, apart from, uh, you know, African drum, I do not play any other mu mu musical instrument. I don't play piano, I don't play guitar. Apart from uh, um, African drum, that's the only uh, musical instrument that I play. Uh, next question. How long have you been teaching at Duval? I got into Duval, when was that? I think 2000 and... Uh, I think 2016, yeah, about. Somebody said, competitively, who do you think is the smartest teacher in my department? I don't know. I know that, I know that um, all the teachers in my department are good, great. That's, that's, that's what I know. And there is no competition that, um, there's no competition that, that can determine who is the smartest. Everybody in my department is highly qualified. And I know, I know that m most, though I don't know individual evaluations, I don't know individual evaluations, but I do know that individual evaluations, they are getting effective uh, teacher status. Otherwise, they wouldn't be coming back year after year. So uh, somebody said, how do you spend your free time? Apart from my teaching, which is what I do, eight hours a day and probably another two or three hours extra every day to just to do other administrative work. I run my little consulting outfit. Okay, so somebody said, who is currently your highest, cl highest class? I don't understand it. Do, do you mean the student that scores highest or what? I don't understand the question. The, the question reads, who is currently your highest class? Okay, the class that you prefer. Okay, I prefer 12th grade. Any class that 12th grade uh, um, take, senior students. I prefer to teach senior students than lower, lower level students. That's just my preference. But do I have a choice? The answer is yes or no. The answer, yes, in the sense that if I'm assigned to a class and I don't like it, I will just quit and get another, another job. But do I assign my class, uh, uh, myself a class? No. It is the principal's responsibility to assign classes to teachers, all right? Now, have I taught all classes in Aduba? Yes, I've taught Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trigonometry, Pre-Calculus, Statistics, Probability, name them. This question is, how long did you attend UCLA? That's, uh, I think, a year and six months. One year and six months, that about, almost two years that I completed what I got there uh, for within one year and six months. Any other question? One new question. Can you describe your ideal vacation? <laughs> my ideal vacation is in my village where I was born, where I attended um, my school, my, my high school. That's where I have my best vacation. I don't do all these other, all these other, all these other places. Okay, I go to where I will be useful to the community, not where I'm going to spend money and nobody benefits from that other than, other than the people who are running business. All right. So now, next question. This one says the election. What's your opinion on it? Um, first of all, on the election generally, my opinion is that it was a great election and many people came out to vote and they voted. And their votes counted. 
and there is a, a new person, a new president that has been elected who is going to be sworn in on January 20. So the current president right now, his time will expire on the same January 20 at 11.59 a.m. From 12 noon on January 20, Donald Trump will no longer be the president. You can take that to the bank. So it was a great election. So people voted and they chose another person instead of the incumbent, all right? Many people voted in different ways. Some voted by mail-in ballots. Some voted, went to physical and voted physically. Some did absentee ballots. So there are, according to the results, there are more people voted in this election than any other time in the United States history. This question says, have you ever felt like quitting your job? <laughs> If I feel like quitting my job, I will quit immediately. And I won't even, I won't even waste any time. Uh, the reason is because I have options. I have a lot of options. That's what, that is what um, getting a lot of uh, certification affords you. If you have a lot of certifications and a lot of knowledge and uh, competence, if you lose one job, you get another. All right? For example, if I don't want to work for PGCPS right now, there are tons and tons of other school systems that are, are just going to uh, say, come, come on, come on. Unless I commit a crime, you know, that prevents me from working in the school system. That's the only thing that will make me not to get another, another job in teaching. Then in terms of other professions, yes, I can. All right. Even if it's not teaching, even if it's not something related to my uh, um, academic training, there is no job I cannot do. So I have done all kinds of jobs, including the ones you call the dirty ones. I've done them all. So I can, I can survive. This one says, has anyone done a Zoom prank on you? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, why? I don't know. I don't know. People, maybe people have, haven't tried it or maybe they tried it and they didn't succeed, but I'm very familiar with Zoom. I use it for other things other than teaching. So I can catch a lot of stuff. I actually, I actually, I was the one who trained the PGCPS, uh, not, not, not PGCPS, Duval staffs on how to use Zoom uh, before the students came. Uh, somebody said, can you elaborate on the headache of teaching in a school building? Yes, I can. The headache is number one headache, and you guys know it. Some students who come to school building, they are not really coming to learn. You know it. That's a fact. So they just come to look for one trouble or the other. And then they look for this trouble in the bus. They look for trouble in the hallway. They look for trouble in the cafeteria. When they come to class, they still look for trouble. So now those who come to classroom, which is where I have, um, I'm supposed to have control over, when they come to classroom to look for trouble, then that gives me additional uh, responsibilities, which is to control them and also to do other things like all these uh, progressive discipline, like calling parents and um, reporting them to the school admin and filling up all these uh, PS74 forms and all those type of stuff. I don't like that. I mean, I want to talk to parents, but I want to talk to parents to uh, tell them something positive about you. I don't want to talk to parents to, to complain about a student. I don't like it. But sometimes I have to do it so that I will have my own records. Okay? So I prefer to call, let's say I prefer to call parent A. So I want to say, oh, I, your child is a very good student. He's doing well or she's doing well and I'm proud of him and his grade is 90% or so, he comes to class, he doesn't disturb. I want to say those good stuff. I don't want to call parents and say, oh, this child is playing with cell phone while he's supposed to be learning, or this child is talking too much while he's supposed to be paying attention. I don't like it. It makes me angry because I wonder why would, why would somebody who is 14 years, 15 years, 16 years, you're no longer a baby, you know why you are supposed to be in school and in class and you're doing all this stupid stuff. So those are the headaches. Now, in distance learning, you can see most of all of you are on mute. <laughs> all of you are basically on mute. 
if you make noise, I will mute you. And if you, if you, uh, if that noise continues, I will remove you. And that will be it for the day. And then we can have a discussion. So since uh, this online education, I have not filled out a, a, a single PS74 for uh, student misbehavior, not even one. I have also not called the parents to complain about a student's uh, behavior, but I have called parents to, comp to, to report that their child did not come to class or has been absent for three or four days. So this one is giving me less headache. I don't know if I made, I made the point.